One of the most misunderstood metrics is somebody's weight when they're on a health and wellness journey. A question I get all the time, James, why is my weight up on my health journey? I thought that working out with you would drop my weight. I thought that working out with you would burn this fat. I thought that changing my nutrition and counting my protein and getting more steps would drop my weight. Well, <laughs> the fact of the matter is, is that weight is not linear, okay? Most of the time, when we think that our, you know, our path is gonna look like that, when we're trying to lose fat and we jump in, it, it might line of best fit look like that, but it's more gonna be like this, right? It's literally here. So what does that tell us? That tells us that overall, right, we're up and down, but we think it's gonna be this. We think that every day it's going to be a little bit more weight down, a little bit further, further from where we were and closer to our goal. <clears throat> The fact of the matter is, is that your daily deposits are getting you closer to your goal, right? Your weight being up today and down tomorrow could be from a variety of factors. And so I want to unpack these in, in this short video, just so that you don't freak out when your weight goes up after it was down from where it was previously. Um, and that could be, hey, did you take a poop, right? Um, how, how regular are your bowel movements, right? How much salt have you, have you taken in? How much refined sugar have you taken in? Did we have a little bit more intake of starches? Did we have some beer yesterday, right? Did we not drink as much water? Did we up our sodium over the last two days, right? <clears throat> Are we coming off of a very hard leg workout? Have we not been walking? Have we walked a ton? Did we drain electrolytes outside and we weighed ourselves after that, right? Did we, did we go on a, a five mile hike with the family and then weigh ourselves after that and then wonder why the next morning when you're rehydrated, you weigh more? Like there's so many things that can be going on that, that this, is, this is something that I think throws a lot of people off their progress. This throws a lot of people off their, <clears throat> off their journey in general because they don't understand why this is the way it is. Like your weight is going to jump up and down no matter what you do. It's not linear at all. Like you could do everything right. You could lift all the weights that I ask you to lift. You could do all the steps every single day that I ask you to do. You could eat exactly like I want you to do. And some days you're not going to see a linear up and down, right? Or down on the, on the weight here, even if you do everything right. Does that mean that you're failing? No, it doesn't. Your weight could be up or down for a variety of reasons. And I went through all of them there. The most common are just that we're looking at it on a, you know, we have, <clears throat> we're looking at it on too small of a, a time horizon. Right? So our data, we just don't have enough data, right? So, you know, it's day one, week one, okay? And maybe day one, week one, we weighed 150, okay? Or, yeah, let me go backwards on this. So week one, day one, right? Week one, day one, maybe we were 150. Week one, day two, right? We were 149. Week one, day three, right? Or 148.2. And then week one, day four comes around and we are 151.4. <gasps> Watch out, our progress is over. We can't do it anymore. But what you didn't take into account is that this is maybe a Monday, right? You had no stress, right? You slept eight hours, okay? You didn't have a lot of starchy carbs, sick, right? We worked out, we worked out upper body here. Okay, and this is just an example. Maybe day two, it was just a steps day, right? So no workout, right? Day three, when you're 148.2, right? We hit lower body hard. So we, uh, we rock your CNS, right? We're doing front squats, back squats, hip thrust, overhead squats. I mean, we are just, we're doing reverse lunges, weighted stuff. We just, we just crank the lower body work right? And so because of that, you get a little bit more hungry, you eat a little bit more food than you're used to, or you eat more carbs than you're used to, right? You have extra sodium, you have extra carbs in general, more potatoes, more rice, what have you. And then the next day that you weigh in the morning, right? You weighed in the morning on all these. Then on this day, which is just a steps day, you weighed in and you're here. But what you have to keep in mind is that the body, right? Physiologically does things on our way to, to goal right? <laughs> it's reacting to, to what you're putting it through. And I can promise you this, that my weight, maybe a day, maybe two days, I don't know if it's actually going to be two days, 
but after a heavy, a heavy, heavy lower body day that then I refuel with tons of, of food, right? To make sure that I have energy again so I'm not dead, um, my weight is up. And that's okay. And my, my fluctuations, right, day over day, right, even sometimes workout over workout are like three to five pounds. Now, does that mean that I gained fat or lost fat in that time? No, it does not. It means that my weight changed on the scale. But something I need us to keep in mind is that weight, similar to having your testosterone taken or your, your, cortisol, or your stress hormone taken or you know, anything checked at any time, your blood pressure right now, it's, it's literally, right, if we have a if we have a graph, right, it's one point, okay, at this date, at this time, right? And then we could be kind of all over the place, okay? Now, the trends, the overall trends of stuff can, can give, us, give us some great data to play with. But just remember that anytime you take your blood pressure, uh, you take your cholesterol, right? You take your testosterone, you take your weight, right? You do a DEXA, you do an in-body. That is what it is at that moment right there. Now, the more sophisticated the tool, oftentimes you get more accurate and precise data, right? But you're not going to compare, <laughs> you're not going to compare your, your scale in your office weight with a DEXA scan because the level of precision is different. And those are two data points that probably aren't going to look the same. Right? You need to track your averages over the same instruments time over time. And, and that's why, like, if we're, if we're looking at, at weight loss, right, you come in with us and we're looking at weight loss, we're going to weigh you in-house at the gym. Or if you're remote with us, you're going to weigh on your scale. And you're going to weigh on that same scale every time that we weigh in for the, the weight that, um, that we're looking to capture so that we have accurate and precise data, right? But also... Be aware that there are going to be times where you weigh more. It could be that you worked out hard, right? It could be that you, you know, you didn't have a lot of water or, you know, you, you worked out outside for four hours, right? You did some yard work. You went and played soccer. You might have hopped in the sauna. You might have been in a very humid gym like I was this morning at CrossFit Shambly. Like you might have done a lot of those kind of things and not realized that not the, not the negative effects, but just the effects of doing that in the short run on your weight, your weight is going to fluctuate up and down. It's not the only metric. It should be something that you use as a data point. But all in all, you, you got to plan for your weight to be up and down, right? And so long as you're putting in the daily deposits, you don't have anything to worry about, right? You do not have anything to worry about. Smaller is not healthier, right? Just like bigger is not healthier, right? Uh, you go to either extreme and they both become unhealthy, right? Weight is something that societally we've been programmed and women more specifically than men they're like your weight has to be in these ranges to be yada yada now you know bmi is something that also a lot of people use uh, to say well i'm healthy or not healthy that's like an obesity and overweight or underweight scale and like the range is cool but there's obvious exceptions again here like someone that has just juicy ass muscles and is short right is gonna maybe be overweight or obese on the scale. So I wouldn't put too much stock into that unless you know personally that you're on tons of medication. You are actually overweight. Your doctor's like, hey, your blood pressure's too high. Cholesterol's too high. Your weight is too high. Well, then maybe it's something to look at. But when you're on a journey, you've got to expect that you're going to have peaks and troughs. You've got to expect that weight's going to go up and down. That's okay. And it's normal. And I want you to have the expectation that it's going to happen so that you don't freak out and then jump off the journey because you say it's not working. Because the worst thing that you could do is get here, not be expecting your weight to be up sometimes, even when you're doing everything that you need to be doing, right? You're still, you're hammering your workouts, you're doing your steps, you're sleeping, right? You're de-stressing yourself, uh, you're doing what you need to do. Sometimes your weight's gonna be up. If you don't expect that to happen at some point, it's gonna be very hard to stay on track because your expectations are gonna lead you to believe that you're not doing what you need to do or that it's just not working. And so, you know, why don't we just throw our hands up and not do anything? Like you can do it. Keep in mind that weight, it will fluctuate up and down even when you're doing everything that you need to do, right? It is one data point of many. We gotta look at a lot of other things. I hope that that kind of clears that up because I know that's a question that I get almost every week. And every time I onboard a new client, that is a question that comes up in the first two or three weeks. So I hope that helps and y'all keep rocking.